may be seated. I'd encourage you to turn with me in your Bibles to Acts chapter 16 and verses 1 through 5 as we continue on in the testimony of the Lord's working in the church, extending it through the apostles and through the men that they in turn trained and raised up. We are going to be introduced today to a very important man in the early church. When we meet him here, he's just a young man, probably in his late teens, but nonetheless somebody who was going to be used significantly in the building up and strengthening of the church amongst the Gentiles, particularly in the city of Ephesus where he would minister for many, many years. And that man's name is Timothy. As I said, when we meet him, we're meeting him as a young man, but nonetheless a man who the Lord had his eye on from beginning, uh, before the beginning of time, and who would be used to help the Apostle Paul greatly in spreading the gospel. But before we turn and we read Acts 16, 1 through 5, <clears throat> let's go to the author of these words, the ultimate author, and ask for his help. God, our Father, we are so thankful that you gave us a testimony of your working in spreading the church. Had it not been for your Holy Spirit's empowering of the apostles and then those disciples whom they raised up, Lord, uh, the gospel would have gone nowhere. There was no possibility that this uh, religion emanating from a backwater in the midst of the Roman Empire, a religion that was spread not by men who had gone to rabbinical colleges or schools of divinity, but rather mostly by fishermen, men called from odd walks, tax collectors and uh, Pharisees even, rabbis.